Hello everyone, so the Rogue One trailer dropped and like many Star Wars fans, I sat in front of my computer refreshing YouTube over and over, because what else am I supposed to do? Watch the Olympics? <laughs> Regardless, I stayed up like everyone else and this trailer is awesome. In Lucasfilm Disney fashion, they gave us a trailer that did exactly what I wanted and what it needed to do. They gave us a little bit more about the characters and the tone, but not a lot about the plot. Of course, we know that the film was about how the Rebel Alliance acquired the plans of the Death Star, but major beats within the movie are still a mystery. What I love about this trailer is the tone. This looks like it's going to have a different type of feeling than the other Star Wars films, mostly because of the cinematography. When you watch this trailer, there are so many shots that stick with you. Two of my favorites being the Death Star eclipsing the sun and a pack of X-Wings flying through a canyon in the rain. So cool. Another thing that stands out in this trailer is the music. The one element that can immediately bring you into the Star Wars universe is the music. The music in this trailer is incredible. Revising the Imperial March, but in a more slower, ominous tone, then ramping into the Jedi theme. I don't know who's scoring these trailers, but if they're the same person that's scoring the films, I'm positive they will have a capable successor to John Williams. Then of course we get teased at the very end with the Dark Lord himself. Not gonna lie, but part of me wanted to see a little more of Vader, as you can see in this reaction footage that I took of myself. Oh, come on. But after watching the trailer a few more times, I realized that any more of him will start to spoil a few things. So in the long run, I think it was a good play by Lucasfilms. Now I know this is just a trailer and there is a chance that Rogue One won't be as good as I'm expecting from the looks that we've gotten so far, but there are things that I think this film will do for Star Wars fans. The first being introducing new characters and expanding the Star Wars universe. As Kathleen Kennedy promised, we we're getting yet another strong female character with Jen Erso. You definitely see this in the shot when she's walking towards a TIE fighter that I absolutely love, absolutely love that shot. But the character I'm probably excited to see the most is Chirrut played by Donnie Yen. As far as I know, he's not a Jedi, but he seems to be force sensitive. He's definitely a believer in the force. We get this from the line he gives in the trailer. I fear nothing. All is as the force wills it. I'm just intrigued by characters like him that worship the force but aren't necessarily Jedi. Characters like Maz Kanata and Loris and Tekka from The Force Awakens. Another thing that I think we'll get from this film is the scope of the Empire and his hold on the galaxy. The cruelty of the Empire is something you get more of when you read the new canon books. If you haven't picked any of them up, I highly recommend that you do. But for people that are strictly fans of the movies, I think this film will dive deeper into this theme. You see this in a trailer with a shot of the Death Star hovering over Jetta. Very visually powerful stuff in this trailer. That's just every shot like this is amazing. We're also getting a Star Wars movie that's going in a direction that I've always wanted to see. Time and time again, we've heard the director Gareth Edwards say that this is going to be a war film. Really the only other time that we've seen this down in the trenches type of war stuff was in the Empire Strikes Back and the Battle of Hoth. But we see a lot of this type of action in the second half of the trailers of Rogue One. Like Edward said, this is Star Wars and it looks like he's going to deliver on the war part of this film. And the last thing I want to touch on is after seeing this movie, you're most likely going to see A New Hope, the original Star Wars film, in a new light. That opening crawl is going to seem a little different when you know the full story behind that small paragraph. Just the things that the Rebel Alliance has to go through and the sacrifices they make to get the plans to the Death Star. Now I want to hear from you. By now you've had to see the Rogue One trailer, so I want to know what your thoughts were and what your favorite part was. Let me know in the comments section below, or you can tweet them to me, at Drew DiMolanta. So until next time, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.